Hi guys, Tanya here. I review products and services. I wanna save you time and money. That's what my channel's all about, saving you time and money. So subscribe if you're interested in doing that. But you're here today because we were talking Facebook group. I want to tell you the hot secret of creating a Facebook group because it happened to me and if I could help one person out there not encounter the same drama that I went through creating my Facebook group, I would love to do that. This is my personal page, okay, I did finally launch my group this month, but my goal was to launch it last month, but I wasn't able to do that because the original group that I created, I was not able to add anybody. And here's why, here's the hot ticket. So go to your personal page. If you're gonna add a Facebook group or you're thinking about it, you go to the plus, add a group. It's all pretty, what you would think, pretty easy. There's three questions, okay? What's your group name gonna be? YT YouTube, because we're doing a YouTube video, public or private, doesn't matter. I chose mine to be private. Um, some members could only see it, and I made it visible so anybody could find it. But nonetheless, here's the kicker. It says invite friends. Now, I created my group. I knew that it was going to take me a little bit of time um, in January, at the end of January. Created my group at the end of January. Well, lo and behold, I wasn't actually ready to launch it until the end of April. It took me longer than I anticipated, but you know, life gets in the way. So I never invited friends. I didn't want anybody to see it while I was creating it. I might've been a little over anal retentive, but nonetheless, that's what I did. It still allows you to create it, okay? And then it allows you to update it. So I went in, I made sure that I added my cover photo, I added my description, I created post. I was very methodical. I went through some YouTube trainings to make sure that I was doing it all correctly, but I still never invited anyone. That's the kicker. This area ends up going away. I don't know what the timeline on it. Is it even after I wasn't able to launch it because I couldn't invite anybody anymore? I don't know what that time frame is. Um, but what I do know is this goes away. It goes gray, which means I couldn't invite anybody. So when I was ready to launch it that day and I was going to invite family and friends um, into the group and clients that I had into the group, I wasn't able to do it because my invite button, which now works, didn't. I had to recreate my page. Now, when you've worked on it for months and you've put hours into it, it's very very stressful and I just wanted to throw my hands up. So if you're gonna create a group, my recommendation is this invite button I think works for like 30 days and then it turns off. And there isn't a whole lot with the YouTube videos that I watched that made that is clarity for me because otherwise I would have done it. So I had to go back in, I had to recreate a new group and I added my mom and my husband um, and only adding two people was fine. Then I was able to invite anybody else, still able to do just the same. But that one kicker at the very beginning, when you add to the group, make a group, you've got to invite friends. It says optional, but my friends, it is not optional if you want that group to be around, if you don't plan on launching it for two to three months, um, like I did. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if it was. Follow me for more tips. I try to um, live my life through these YouTube videos and share anything that I can to help save you time and money. Subscribe. Hope to see you soon. Thanks, guys.